Hello guys, my name's Harley and I want to tell you about my horrible stepmother, Lena. I will be calling her Lena in my story because she never was my mother or even interested in being one. I mean, this is what she told me when my dad, Cameron, first introduced me to her. She didn't do it in front of him though. She said, I don't want you getting any ideas about me being your mother. Harley, you are just my husband's daughter and nothing else. You are a teenager, so don't expect me to ever slave myself for you. Um, that's okay, Lena. I'm perfectly capable of doing things on my own. I just want my dad to be happy. I won't come in the way. You are already in the way, you little witch. Don't try to be smart with me. I know how to manage worthless teens like you. As soon as you turn 18, I will do my best to make sure you are out of our lives for good. Then I will have Cameron all to myself. The talk escalated very quickly to Lena saying some exceptionally nasty things about me and my dead mother. Yes, my father was a widower and my mom died when I was only eight. I miss her terribly and it took dad a long time to date, let alone find love again. That was one reason why I never told my dad about Lena's horrible words or behavior. Big mistake, guys. I should have spoken up because this woman turned into a nightmare after she married dad. Even dad was taken aback by her behavior. Lena always targeted me and did her best to turn me out of the house. She made it clear that she hated children and didn't want me around. That was something she never told my dad before they dated. When dad refused to abandon me, she started to find ways to harass me. She used to mess up her food and put the blame on me. She said, Will you look at your daughter, Cameron? Look at what she's done. She has purposefully spoiled my cooking because I refuse to cook for her. She is going to poison me one day, Cameron. Harley, do you have an explanation for this? I swear I don't know anything about this, Dad. I'm perfectly happy to cook for myself. I wasn't even in the house before you came home and I bought takeout to eat in my room. Oh God, she's lying now, Cameron. I'm telling you that you need to get rid of her before she kills me. This is just one small example of what Lena has been up to for four years she was in my life. The entire fiasco was over too much salt on her food, which she had added herself to blame me. It was bizarre, but Dad believed me. I had enough proof. Throughout the year, she did a lot more. She got me off the phone connection, locked me out of the house for five hours, took my car keys on the day of an important test, threw away my project that I spent a week making, and much more. Dad did his best to make her understand that this wasn't okay, but she never listened. She would act friendly for a few days before doing something horrible again. By the time Lena was with us for a year, I got a job and started to pay for a lot of my own things. I simply didn't want her interfering in my life anymore. Dad was upset, but I told him that it would be nice for me to have money of my own. I didn't want him to feel guilty. Lena was a stay-at-home wife and considered her dad's money as her own. So she didn't want dad spending too much on me. Not even some of the basics. I tried to be as invisible as possible so that Lena would leave me the hell alone. She never took the hint and continued to harass me. She wanted to keep her word of removing me from her life and the house. But she had no idea what fate had in store for us. The real fiasco happened a few weeks after my 18th birthday since I turned 18. Lena has been in a good mood. She was chirping and sometimes singing gleefully in the house. I knew why she was so happy. 
She was thinking that she would finally be able to get rid of me. Well, not so fast, Lena. She had no idea that I had heard her talking to her friend on the phone. She told me how she would ambush me and kick me out. I knew her plan already, but she had no idea what was in store for her. So the day I came home from work and saw my stuff packed, I was not upset, but just amused. I said, Hey, Lena, want to tell me why my stuff is packed and waiting in my bedroom? Are we going on vacation? Don't act so smart, Harley. I hope you remember my words. I told you that once you turn 18, I will be kicking you out. Well, it is time for you to leave. Now, I have decided to be a good person and pack your stuff for you. You know, make things easier for you. So, you want to kick me out of my house? Oh, no, 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 Harley. This is my house. And I don't want or have to keep you here anymore. I will deal with Cameron later, but you are leaving for sure. Lena had this overconfident smirk on her face which told me that she was pleased with herself. She had already started to make plans in her head of what she would do with my room, but like I said, not so fast, Lena. Karma is just about to come for you. I calmly took out some documents from my bag and handed them to her. When she looked at me confused, I just smirked and said, I think you need to take a look at these papers first, Lena. I have been meaning to give you this for a while. Thank God you talked about the eviction today. It just made me remember these documents. What are these papers? Why do I need to read them? Why don't you take a look and find out? Lena sat down and started to read the papers that I had just handed her. She started out looking confused, but slowly her confusion turned into shock and then disbelief. She looked at me and then at the papers in her hand again. Then she turned angry. She said, Is it an eviction notice in my name? What the hell, Harley? What is the meaning of this? It means that I want you out of my house in a month. You know the usual thing that an eviction paper means. You, you can't serve me eviction papers. You can't do that. This is my house and I am the only one who can kick people out. Um, no, Lena, this is my house and has always been so. My dad was just a caretaker who held this place for me until I turned 18. Now that I have, it belongs to me. I have just recently completed the documentation process. No, 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 that's impossible. Cameron can't just give you this house. This is our marital asset and he can't give you the house without consulting me. How is this a marital asset, Lena? Dad had this house before you were in the picture. I guess he didn't tell you that... This house actually belonged to my maternal grandparents. They left the house to me and appointed Dad to hold the house until I turned 18, which I did just a few weeks ago. No, no, no. You have to be lying to me. This can't be true. You were trying to scam me and kick me out of the house. Wait till your father hears about it. He will kick you out instead. Lena then made the ridiculous mistake of calling my father downstairs. She forgot the fact that she never asked my dad if she could kick me out. I mean, even if the house belonged to my father, she should have asked him, right? She knew what his answer would be, so she went behind his back to kick me out. In her frenzy, she forgot this little detail and decided to involve dad. I'm not complaining, though. It's even better for me this way. Dad came downstairs to check what the yelling was about. He said, Whoa, calm down, Lena. Why are you yelling like a banshee? What is wrong? Why won't I be screaming? Your worthless daughter is making some wild claims again. She's saying that this house belongs to her and she is kicking me out. Harley, what is going on? I need to know the truth. I knew that my dad would ask my side. He's a good father who knows that his wife can be a mean witch. So 
He always takes action after considering both sides. This is something that Lena always hated. She wanted Dad to take her side, no matter who was in the wrong. I can't tell you how many fights they had on this. Still, Dad wanted to be fair towards us all. That's exactly why he asked for my side as well. I said, Lena called me down and told me that she was kicking me out. She said something along the lines of, "I won't allow you to stay in my house any more." I knew that she was going to do this. I heard her speaking to someone on the phone, so I decided to kick her out of the house instead. I served her an eviction notice. What the hell, Lena? Who gave you permission to try and kick my daughter out? You never discussed this with me. What is going on? Why am I hearing about this now? Lena knew that she had messed up at the moment. Like I said, she was so overwhelmed with the eviction notice that she forgot about being caught. I saw her panic for a while before turning hostile and defensive, like she usually does. She said, "Your daughter is already an adult, Cameron. She had turned, and we let her stay in the house rent-free for a month already. Most parents kick their kids out once they turn eighteen." We need to make Harley learn to live on her own and become responsible. That's for me to decide, Lena. You are not, and never was, her parent. You didn't even contribute to anything related to Harley. How did you think it was okay for you to decide when to kick out my daughter? You were being unfair, Cameron. All these years, I put up with your favoritism because Harley was a teenager, but now. She needs to go. I won't let her stay in my house any more. Who said this is your house? Which deed shows that this house is in your name? Well, it's your place, so I have equal rights to it since I am your wife. So this is my house too. I won't allow Harley here any more. She needs to go. This is not my house, and even if it was, you have no right to it. This is Harley's house and has her name on it. Lena heard that and went pale. She didn't expect my dad to mirror my words and say that the house belonged to me. She was in her own fairyland where everything belonged to her just because she said so. Hearing anything else was nothing short of shocking and surprising for her. She began to cry and said. Why would you say such a thing, Cameron? Because the house belongs to Harley. I'm just speaking the truth. What's wrong with that? You gave Harley your house without consulting me. How could you do this, Cameron? I'm your wife. You should have discussed this with me. I am not okay with this. You had no problem going behind my back and trying to kick my daughter out. Why can't I do the same, Lena? Talk about double standards! And there was nothing to discuss. This house was always supposed to be Harley's. I was the only trustee who took care of the house until she turned eighteen. The house got transferred to her name just recently. Lena now understood that we were telling the truth. Dad even offered to show her the papers in case she needed proof. She was in way too much shock to do or say anything coherent. She said, "You deceived me, Cameron. I thought that the house was yours. You lied to me. This is not fair." I never lied to you, Lena. You never asked whose house this was. When we got married, we signed a prenup saying that our personal assets were just that, personal. Oh my God! This can't be true. You should have told me, Cameron. Now Harley is throwing us out. Look at how ungrateful your daughter is, Cameron. I am not throwing my dad out, Lena. That reward is solely yours. You're the one who won't get to live in my house any more. I would have considered letting you stay here. I told Dad as much, but after you tried to kick me out, I changed my mind. You are going to leave. If you kick me out, your dad will follow as well. We are a couple. He won't abandon his wife. Now it was my father's turn to laugh out loud. 
He already made plans of his own that I knew about, but he was unsure whether to go ahead with it or not. I guess today's events made the decision easier for him. He was about to blow up his marriage, and Lena didn't see it coming at all. He said, "Actually, no, I am not following you, Lena. I will stay here and take care of my daughter." I have been on the fence about divorce for a while now. What you tried to do today sealed the deal for me. I will be filing tomorrow. Be ready for it. Wait, what? Are you going to divorce me? You want to leave me over your shit daughter? You can't do that. Yes, I can, Lena. You think I was going to forgive you for tormenting my daughter for three years? Oh hell no! All this while I thought that you might change. I have been nothing but patient with you, but now I know that you will continue to be a toxic witch. I don't want someone like this in my or my daughter's life. Lena took a step back as if she had been physically hurt. She never expected her divorce to come so soon. My dad is actually a pretty quiet man who doesn't do anything drastic. This was actually unlike him. He was mad, and his facial features showed that. He didn't shout, but his tone gave away the fact that he was very angry. It made Lena even more anxious. She started to argue with my dad, and I chose to leave that space to retreat to my room. Dad and Lena fought for an hour straight. It was mostly Lena shouting and crying while my father explained his reasons to her calmly. After the verbal fight ended, Dad came to my room. He seemed a little upset and refused to meet my eye. He sat down and said, "Harley, I know I need to apologize to you. I'm sorry, dear. I should have done a better job of protecting you against Lena. I thought that by being fair and avoiding fights, I would be able to make things work. I was stupid, and I made things worse for you." You don't have to apologize, Dad. I know you loved Lena, and she wasn't like this when she married you. People change, and sometimes it takes time to come to terms with these changes. Wow, you have matured a lot, you know. I wish I could have done things differently. I intentionally brought a mad woman into our lives. Well, what is done is done. I forgive you, Dad. You really did try your best. I'm not complaining. Do you want to divorce Lena? I won't be mad if you don't. I would understand. Girl, I'm not living with that mad woman any more. I'm done. Her true face shocked me way too much to act faster. I really don't want her in my life any more. Although I must say that I saw this coming. Somewhere in my subconscious, I knew something was up with Lena. That's why I made the prenup in the first place. I was worried that she would jinx your future and make trouble with money, so I thought this would be the best way. See, you did think about me too. You deserve to be happy, Dad. That's all I want to say. If Lena doesn't mean anything to you any more, it's best you separate. I spent a hell of a lot of time assuring my dad that he is not the horrible parent of the year. In fact. He went even close. He did a lot for me, and I knew that. I just needed to make him believe that too. I won't lie, guys. I was super happy that my dad was finally getting rid of that crazy woman, Lena. She is not the one for dad, and has no business staying married to him. Not after everything she did all these years. The talk with my dad went well, and he went to the guest room to sleep. That night, I was finally feeling peaceful, knowing that Lena would soon be out of our lives for good. I was able to teach her a nice lesson that I hoped she would remember for the rest of her life. The real surprise came the next morning when I found Lena trying a little too hard to appear loving and caring towards me. She was in the kitchen making me breakfast and acting like I was the best person in her life. Even Dad was giving her the side eye and looking at me with confusion on his face. When breakfast was over, I said, "Thanks for breakfast, Lena, but you don't have to do this any more. 
I'm capable of making my own, as I have done for the last six years. Things don't need to change out of the blue. What nonsense, Harley. I'm happy to do this for you. You having our meals together can bring us closer as a family. What is the need for that? We won't be a family anymore. It's just a matter of time now. You should have done this years ago. It's too late now. Oh, come on, Cameron. Don't be so hard on me. I'm trying. I can make this work. I will start being a better parent to Harley. We will be the best mother-daughter duo ever. Right, Harley? I knew what Lena was trying to do. She had been backed into a corner and took the night to come up with a plan. I knew better than to trust her in my life. Looking at Dad, he had no intention of trusting her again either. He only looked at her a little amused. Since Lena was expectantly looking at me for a reply, I said, I don't think so, Lena. First of all, I'm 18 and I don't need a new parent. I pay my own bills and will be off to college anyway. Secondly, you are and never will be my mother. That word doesn't suit you at all. So no, Harley, I am not interested in whatever scheme you have come up with. Harley, look, I'm sorry for being so mean to you in the past. You need to give people chances, dear. We can be a happy family if you agree to give me a chance, and it will help me strengthen my marriage too. Dad says that you have a marriage within a few months. I don't know what you're trying to strengthen. If it's a ploy to try and stay in this house, I'm sorry to say it won't work. I'm kicking you out anyway. And I am going to divorce you anyway. You have already done the damage, Lena. There is no point in trying to act all innocent and remorseful. I know you better than that. Lena saw that her new strategy was not working. I guess she didn't have anything else in her ammo. She couldn't threaten to ruin Dad financially because of a prenup she signed, so she had no other way than to beg and cry. And she did deliver. She started to cry hysterically and begged me not to kick her out. She also begged me to ask my dad to give her another chance. She then begged my dad to be a little more forgiving. Our entire day was filled with Lena trying to beg and plead with us for mercy. Since me and my dad were both off from work that day, we had to put up with this torture. My dad did leave for a while to contact a lawyer and file for divorce. Lena received the papers within a week. Dad's lawyer had them served. Lena upped her begging and crying after she was served the papers. Me and Dad graciously informed her that she needed to get a job if she wanted a place to live and a lawyer for her divorce. She was convinced that she would convince us to give her a chance. Well, that didn't happen. As the month was up, she was promptly kicked out. She made some trouble when we told her to leave, but after Dad threatened her with more legal trouble, she left sobbing. I heard that she moved in with a friend since her own family can't stand her anymore. As she left, she took the negativity with her and the house finally felt like home. It's been more than two years since the incident. I am now in college, which happens to be close to home. Dad has successfully divorced Lena and is back to dating. He says that he isn't looking to settle again, but just wants some company at times. As for Lena, last I heard, she moved into a flat with several flatmates and is struggling to make ends meet. Since she doesn't have a lot of qualifications, she is working a minimum wage job and just getting by. I saw her at a grocery store from afar. She looked like she had aged 10 years more. Karma had caught up with her and hopefully taught her a lesson never to try this shit again.